So you just bought a brand new computer. You're excited. You get Ableton Live installed. You're ready to record your first song. But when you install Live, suddenly you get prompts to authorize your copy of Ableton Live. So you log into Ableton Live site, and unfortunately, you see this message. This license has no authorizations left. Now, if you're anything like me, then probably the next step you did is you went back to Ableton Live, you went to Preferences, Command, Comma, and you went to the License Maintenance tab, and you fiercely searching for the Deauthorize Ableton button. This way you could deauthorize Ableton Live, you can load on a new machine and you're good to go. You don't want to have to purchase a new version of Ableton Live. But if you notice, I don't know if you saw this or not, there is no deauthorize Ableton Live button in Ableton Live. All I get is this lightens and maintenance tab. I can't deauthorize my computer. So what do you do at this point? Are you stuck? Do you have to buy a new copy of Ableton Live? Um, what do you do? Well, I want to talk about the exact process, what you need to do in this video. It's going to be a short video because it's a pretty simple and easy process, despite in the moment feeling frustrated and not knowing what to do. So let's dive into what to do. Now, at a most basic level, we should discuss the fact that when you purchase Ableton Live, you get two authorizations, two unlocks with that copy. So what that means is you install Ableton Live and you can unlock on one machine, authorize on one machine, and then you get one more authorization that you can use. The basic thinking here is you install live and you can use it on like a studio computer and a live computer, or you can install Ableton Live and use it on your A computer and your B computer to create a redundant backup rig. But once you pass that two authorization limit, then you're going to get this message here. This license has no authorizations left. Now, while there's no way to deauthorize Ableton Live, it's perfectly fine. It's a really simple process to get another authorization. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And in fact, the reason I'm doing this is because I need to walk through this process. So I thought, hey, uh, this is going to be perfect. I'm updating my laptop. Let's walk through this process together. So uh, if we look at live here, again, we see this link. This license has no authorizations left. And then this right here is a, a link, request another authorization. So I've got this tab open up over here. Uh, and you see it says you've reached your authorization limit. And it's asking you to briefly explain why you need more authorization. So I'm going to do just that. So for me, uh, I am... Um, setting up a new laptop and reinstalling the OS. So I will be installing a new copy of Live 11 and would like to authorize on that laptop. Now, here's here's another, and don't lie if this isn't the case, but in my case right now, I've got a copy of Live on the computer you're looking at, the Mac Mini, then I have a copy of that, that same license on my laptop. Uh, and so what I'm going to tell them is, I mean, you'll, you'll see right here, um, I'm currently using this laptop with this Live license, but since I am reinstalling the OS from scratch, I will need a new authorization. Okay, so there we have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit submit uh, and then we'll see what happens. So let's hit submit here and it's processing. Okay, so here's here's what we get. I get a message at the top of the screen that says, we've received your unlock request and we'll be in touch soon. Now, in the past when I've done this, this has taken one to two days. It has not taken long at all. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video uh, and I'm gonna restart this video once I get that authorization request from live to let you know for sure uh, I got it and show you exactly what the email back uh, came back from Ableton, what it looked like. So I'm gonna cut us here and we'll be back in a day, maybe two days, uh, and we'll see what Ableton says. Okay, so good news. Uh, less than 24 hours uh, later, again, it was it was definitely the next day. I mean, I went to sleep, I woke up, but it was not a full 24 hours. I got this email from Ableton uh, that said, Ableton notification, you can authorize live again. Um, and then when I log into my Ableton account, you can now see this option. You can authorize another computer with this license. So long story longer, you cannot actually go in and deauthorize a specific version of Ableton Live on your computer. But if you have not used up all your authorizations, then you can re you can reauthorize Ableton um, on your new computer. If you have used up all your authorizations, all you've got to do is follow the process that I showed you in the first part of this video, where you request another authorization from Ableton. You'll have to wait less than 24 hours. And in general, 
And then you should get an email back from them saying, hey, you're good to go. I would imagine I, I've never had them say no. And it's not like I have a secret line to Ableton that's only for certified trainers that allows me to uh, get access as many times as I want to. Um, I would imagine that they would always say yes to an authorization, unless for some reason you're requesting a new authorization once a week or something. Like if it's clear that you're trying to sell uh, or share your license with other people, I would imagine they would shut you down. But for a general request like this, once a year uh, as you're installing a new machine, I imagine they'll say yes. If you have any issues about that process though, uh, make sure to reach out to Ableton support. Uh, they're the only people that are going to be able to help you through there. So uh, if you're having issues, don't comment on this YouTube video saying they didn't uh, authorize it. Reach out to them and uh, they'll be able to help. Now, if you're interested in using live on stage uh, to perform with tracks, to use for key sounds, to create a connected stage experience where Ableton can control your lights, lyrics, and video, then head to fromstudiotostage.com slash free. When you get there, I've got tons of free resources, uh, resources that uh, if you were to buy them would cost hundreds of dollars. And in fact, these free resources were created from resources that I sell that cost hundreds of dollars. But to you, they're completely free. Thing, uh, things all the way from click tracks and guide cues uh, to time code files and MIDI cues you can use to control lyrics with MIDI um, completely for free to you. So head to from studio to stage.com slash free uh, where you can check all of that content out. And if you like this sort of content, I post a new video every single day, 10 a.m. Central, all about Ableton Live, using live on stage, performing on stage with live. So if you're interested in this sort of content, then hit subscribe here on YouTube and hit the bell icon so you're notified when I post new content. What I tell people to do is download the YouTube app on your phone. Uh, when you see the notification come through, if the title sounds interesting to you, click through. If not, ignore it and catch me on the next one. Thanks so much for watching this video, everyone. And thanks for the support. We'll see you on the next one. Take care.